Let's preview the 2014 French film Girlhood, or Bon de Fieu, from director Celine Chama. Girlhood follows Mariam, played by actress Carija Touré, in a five-part coming-of-age journey from a shy teenager living in a rough Parisian suburb into someone with confidence in imagining and pursuing her future. Mariam undergoes this journey with the support and love of her friends. This film was released in 2014 and 2015 in France and the United States, respectively. It shares a moment in time with Boyhood, which inspired the English title, and Moonlight, a similar story about a young queer person coming of age. Girlhood charts its own path in representing a group not only with the sober reality of their ordinary life, but with the joy of resilience. Let's talk about three things to help us enjoy this movie. First, Celine Shama and Girlhood. Girlhood was released as contemporary conversation in the film world emerged about Richard Linklater's Boyhood. While acclaimed, many also critiqued Boyhood for its seemingly privileged focus amidst calls for greater representation in movies. While Shama, an acclaimed French filmmaker, wasn't likely inspired by Linklater's movie, she certainly had similar thoughts about representation and what Girlhood actually means. Shama made several films prior to Girlhood dealing with this very topic and has built a canon of films that deal with the strangeness of coming of age in actual experiences, but also in what we represent. Before Girlhood, Shama made Water Lilies, about queer romance between teen girls on a swim team. She also made Tomboy, about a young teen who begins practicing with gender fluidity, including the demand for a new name, even as their more liberal parents struggle with this. Shama spoke about her inspiration at the Cannes Film Festival premiere. She felt inspired by the energy of these young women at places like the Lazelle Shopping Center or the Metro. She spoke about these girls as what modern France looks like. You don't see faces and bodies like theirs in French cinema very often, even though these girls are French. But Paris is like New York City, a multicultural hub in a multicultural country. Shama wanted to depict a new way of femininity that reflected and reveled in this multicultural space. Second, Afro-Francais and French Africa. Shama wanted to push against how the idea of French is defined in girlhood by casting an Afro-French or Afro-Francais actress with other Afro-Francais performers. Unlike the United States, France does not record race in its census records, which means there's not a real way to know exact demographics. With that in mind, many Africans have immigrated and settled in France, which has triggered internal conversations about hybrid identities. Let's back up. When we think of what historians call new imperialism, we often think of the British Empire, where the sun never set. But France wasn't too far behind. Parts of Africa fell under French rule between the 1830 colonization of Algeria until the 1960s. These colonized people were not simply others or bystanders in France. When we think of France during World War II, we imagine the resistance, la resistance. But in reality, or in addition to the resistance, a free French force composed of colonized Ivorians, Algerians, and Moroccans fought alongside allied troops in major battles, such as Operation Dragoon. So great was the contribution of these colonies that leader and future president Charles de Gaulle agreed to make concessions for autonomy in the 1944 Brazzaville Conference. But the Brazzaville Declaration still forbade options for future independence, which angered many indigenous, many of whom initiated their own independent movements. Post-war France tried to keep its colonies in Indochina and in the brutal device of Algerian war. But allies, including the U.S., began to no longer support these wars, and the citizens of France began to support decolonization. Many of these wars and post-colonial governments took tolls on local and indigenous populations. Out of fear or for better opportunities, many Africans of these Francophone countries have immigrated to France and other Francophone areas such as Canada. When France won the World Cup in 2018, comedian Trevor Noah joked that Africa won the World Cup, which upset many officials in France. There remains a conversation in France about the idea of hybrid identities, with scholar Olivet Hotel arguing that Africans have always had hybrid spaces through necessity, while others argue that being French is not about color. Last, let's talk about girl gang. Mariam lives like many offer francais immigrants and working class French in Bonlouz, specifically housing projects in the Parisian suburbs. It's through these Bonlouz that she meets and joins a girl gang. Bon de fil, the original title means girl gang or girl group. Don't think of girl gang like a criminal gang. 
Mariam's coming-of-age journey takes place alongside the coming-of-age journeys of her girl group, who do almost everything together. What girlhood shows is an amplification of fraternité, a core French value. Mariam and her friends push each other to more confident energy, more joy, and thus resilience and protection. These girls dance together and help each other with their moves, they talk about boys, and help each other figure out their present before they imagine their futures. Shama allows us time to luxuriate with Mariam's vibe among friends, with scenes of them dancing and lip-singing to Rihanna's Diamonds in the Sky. Girlhood allows us to luxuriate with the experiences of young, energetic girls who power through their complicated lives in solidarity. 